In this video, I will be demonstrating how to set a grommet using the hand tool. Now, like most grommets, you will have to make your hole prior to setting. So what we have are in many different sizes are the hand tool hole punch. Now, um, I'm going to be setting the five millimeter grommet. So what I'm going to use is the five millimeter hole punch hand tool that creates the ideal size hole for the five millimeter grommet. Okay, um, first things first, I am working on a poly board. Now this is going to give you a nice hard surface. When using the uh, hand tools, this is an essential here to work under. Now I'm just going to create my hole taking my rubber mallet and then I'm firmly grasping the tool and there you have it. This is the ideal size hole for the grommet I will be setting. Now let's move on to the grommet hand tool which consists of two parts. We have the rod and then we have the bottom anvil. So once you have created your hole you're going to slide your grommet through and then flipping it over it goes the part that shows would go into the bottom anvil and then taking your washer and placing it on top. Now here you have the tip of the rod goes into the flange on the grommet. So again I'm just going to be taking my rubber mallet and There you have it. Now, I just set a five millimeter. The more, uh, the larger you get into the grommets, the harder you are going to have to hit these grommets. Um, and the more times that you will have to have to hit the grommets, the the larger that the larger grommets you you get into. Now this is the same with the hole punches as well. You're going to have to hit the tool more times than than the smaller sizes. So I'm just going to be demonstrating with the 18 millimeter um, to show you that. Again, working on my poly board and then making sure that um, my tool is straight up and down, firmly grasping it, using my rubber mallet. Going to check and okay, this time, you know, it was it was um a clean hole at the beginning. Now, I also have a suggestion. You know, you can also kind of rotate around and hit different areas, rotating your wrist, rotating the tool, and hitting different areas to create the, the nice clean hole. You know, with, with thicker leather and things like that, you're going to have to hit it more, but definitely a great tip would be rotating the tool a bit, and that's going to cut into various pieces of the leather, faux leather that you're working on. But as you can see, it really creates a nice um, nice hole for you and uh, you're ready to set your large grommet. You can find all these tools. They're all available at MinkusMargo.com. Thank you for watching.